In September 1936, a memorable rail excursion fan trip operated in two sections over the New York Central's Catskill Mountain Branch, formerly the Ulster and Delaware Railroad. The first section passes New York, Ontario, and Western Steam Power at Weehawken, New Jersey, on the NYC's West Shore Line. When the first section arrived at Kingston, New York, the harried trainmaster found he would need to use three venerable ten-wheelers to get the heavy train over the steep grades of the UND. This would seriously delay the second section, while more locomotives were fired up. Former Ulster and Delaware ten-wheelers number 811 and 817 are coupled to the head end at Kingston. Finally, everybody was ready to go, um, with the first section at least. The special train pulls into Kingston Station. The signal is finally given to proceed, and the train starts to pull out of the Kingston station. But with the long, heavy train tied to the rear coupler, the first few attempts to get moving were not successful. Finally, the wheels dig in, and the train moves. The train soon buckles down for the long climb into the Catskill Mountains near Big Indian, New York. Back on the rear of the long train, the third locomotive also had its work cut out for it. Even as all this activity was underway, the second section was waiting at Kingston for more locomotives to be fired up. It got underway hours behind schedule and did not reach Oneonta, New York at the end of the branch until dusk. Further consternation resulted after the lead locomotive was uncoupled to proceed over a spindly steel trestle ahead of the second locomotive to lighten the load on the span. After the rest of the train was safely over the bridge, the excursion director told the train master that the diners in the train's consist weighed more than the two locomotives coupled together. <laughs> Upon arrival at Oneonta, the highlight of the trip was a tour of the roundhouse of the Delaware and Hudson Railroad, where high-pressure D&H 280 number 1088 was on the turntable. Oh, the second section? It did not arrive at Oneonta until darkness fell and did not get back to Weehawken until dawn the next day. <laughs>